Hello, all of you lovely listeners, and welcome to another video here on Lily Budgets. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Lily, and I am so thankful that you have clicked on this video and you're here to spend some time with me today. I am a 23-year-old cash butcher and stuffer, and we are really just trying to live life happy over here, so if that sounds like content that may interest you, I hope that you consider hitting that subscribe button so that some support my way. But happy Salary Saturday, everyone. I hope that your week was fantastic and you are ready to relax and chill this weekend. Um, before we start, I apologize in advance if there is any background noise. Um, I am, if you can't tell, trying to talk a little bit softer today. Um, my roommates have some friends over and they're playing garage band in the living room, so there might be some background noise and I apologize about that. But today I am going to walk you through my budget for the final week of February. I'm not going to go in depth today. Um, on where these numbers came from, but I do have a few videos on my channel breaking down my weekly minimum sheet and <clears throat> like how I figure a weekly budget for my bills and savings and whatnot. So today we are just gonna fill out the spreads together and hopefully it can be somewhat relaxing. So we're gonna fill out the budgets um, for both of our cash stuffings. So starting with my full-time income. This is income that I make from my regular nine to five um, and my hourly from the restaurant that I work at. I'm not factoring in any tips this week because I only made $17 and I ended up spending that on food before I left. But side rant really quickly, tip your to-go people, please. I know that they're not entertaining you like a server would, but we're still taking orders Packing, packaging up the food and nine times out of ten we are bringing the food to you outside in the cold for curbside pickup we're doing basically everything that a server does besides like getting your drink refills um and we are making a higher hourly wage than the servers but it's still not a livable wage so please just tip your to go people like even $2, $5, anything is nice. And where I work, we have to split our tips four ways and we have to tip out the bartenders. So just keep that in mind. And before you say anything like, you should just work more or blah, blah, blah. I am 23. I have a full-time job at 40 hours a week. I have my own small business and I work at a restaurant part-time. And that's three jobs just right there and that's not even counting my channel here um my only debt is my student loans and my income still only qualifies me for a 330 a month mortgage payment and to put that into perspective my student loan payment is 390 dollars a month and my rent is 525 dollars a month with no utilities included which is what all four of us each pay to live in a small two-bedroom house. Our our gas bill we just got was $600 this month. It is so unbelievably expensive to live right now, so please, moral of the story, tip your servers, tip your takeout people, please be decent. Okay, rant over. So <laughs> for two weeks, um, I only made $60 in hourly from the restaurant, so I'm just going to put all of that into this week's budget. I'm not going to split it up like I normally try to do. Um, and then my usual weekly from National Trailer Registration. Um, so 545 plus 60, that gives us $605. Now, Quickly, I'm going to jump over to my calendar just so you guys can see. Um, by the way, this digital spread is available for download on my Etsy shop if you're interested. Um, but for this last week here, the 21st through the 27th, we have my Amazon membership that's going to pull automatically from my checking account. And that is $15 a month, so I just need to make sure that... Oh my gosh, come on. I just need to make sure that I leave 15 
in the bank. So 605 minus 15 is 590. So that's how much we're actually able to incorporate into the budget this week. I'm going to just kind of go through these quickly. So my this is like the envelopes that I keep in my wallet. I have gas, groceries, eating out, miscellaneous, and then work meals for meals at work. Um, and I budget pretty much every week the same thing. So $40 is what I give myself for gas, $120 for groceries. I give myself $15 a week to eat out, which is just like whatever extra food I want that's not like meals. Um, I give myself a $5 buffer in my miscellaneous with just ones, and that's just what I use to, like, <clears throat> if I don't want to break a bigger bill, then I'll do that. There's like fuzz and stuff in here. Goodness gracious. Sorry about that. And then I give myself $10 um, for meals at work, so which, at the restaurant. So 40, 120, 15, 5, and 10 is a total of $190 that I allow myself, allow myself to spend every week. So moving down to bills, rent from this paycheck is getting $75 and then utilities will get 25 my car insurance I'm not gonna budget for it from this paycheck I'm gonna cover it with my side income um, my car registration though is getting five my phone is also gonna get a five um, I'm gonna cover annuals with our side income as well as <clears throat> business that's just for my side income. Um, my Best Buy credit card is getting 15. My regular credit card is going to get 10. And then my student loan payment gets $50 from each um, paycheck. So 75, 25, 5, 5, 15, 10, and 50 is a total of 180. Goodness gracious. $85. My, I have a paper like screen protector thing on here and it's been like scratching and catching on this lately. I don't know if any of you guys experience that, but it's really annoying. Um, this calculator, by the way, is linked in the description box if you're interested. Um, moving up to my sinking funds, I'm only going to do a couple of these, the essential ones today, I like to say. So Franklin and Cedric, and I also need, still need to update this, but next month it will be updated um, to include Aria. But <clears throat> they are getting 25 from this paycheck. My parents category is getting five. Um, medical is, medical, no. Car care is going to get five. Christmas is getting 10. Personal will get five, and then we're gonna go down to gym, and gym is gonna get five because I did um, get myself some more supplements, so I'm gonna try to revamp that envelope a little bit. So 25, five, five, 10, five, and five is a total of $55 for our sinking funds. <clears throat> and then I really wanted to focus most of my income towards savings. These for these last two paychecks this last week. So <clears throat> first home is going to get its normal weekly 50. Manifest, I'm going to add 10. And then our, I know it still says 3K, but you know what I mean. Fifth, our 5K is going to get $100. So 150 and 160 and I do work with a zero-based budget system, so every single dollar should have a place. So I'm just going to show you guys that it adds up. 190, 185, 160, 55, and 15 is a total of $605. So that is my budget for my full-time paycheck, which will be stuffing on Tuesday. And then what I do, I do duplicated the page and I'll just show you quickly all you do is click this little add page button and then 
whatever page you're on will be the default. Um, you can add it after, before, or make it the last page, but I just do the same page after. Um, there isn't going to be a fifth paycheck this week, so I could have just done it on week five, but I just felt like doing it this way. So for our side income, this was a fabulous week over on Etsy, and um, we are also going to include my YouTube paycheck in this cash stuffing. So from Etsy, I just write these in. From Etsy, we made $670, and from YouTube last month, um, if you are unfamiliar, YouTube pays you a week behind, and it's not actually YouTube that pays you, it's Google AdSense, so we get paid based off of the number of views on the advertisements. So if there is a YouTuber content creator that you are looking to support, the best way to do that would be to subscribe and to, um, you know, obviously engage in their content, but to watch the advertisements or at least like 30 seconds of them if you are able to. So anyway, um, we made $454 over on you or here on YouTube for the month of January. So six seventy and four fifty. Goodness gracious, six seventy four fifty four is a total of one thousand one hundred and twenty four dollars, which is amazing, absolutely amazing. <clears throat> so I don't put anything in my wallet with my side income, but I do finish off what's left of my bills. So. Rent is going to get 50 and so are my utilities. My car insurance has $7 left um, for the month in order for it to be fully funded, so that's what it's getting. We covered registration in my full-time paycheck, but phone is going to get 5 and so is my annuals because I renewed my Sam's Club membership, which is what that's for, so I'm just starting fresh. Um, for business, I'm gonna come back and fill that in once we do my business spread. Um, Best Buy, though, is getting 10, credit card is getting 15, and then student loans is getting its normal 50. We'll come back and finish that off when we do business. Um, so, let's go to my sinking funds. So, Franklin and Cedric and Aria are getting 25, medical is getting 5, Christmas is getting 10, personal is getting 5, and then travel is going to get 5. So 25, 5, 10, 5, and 5 is a total of $50 that we're going to put towards my sinking funds. My sinking funds are not a major priority for me right now. My biggest priority right now is savings, making sure that my bills are covered, my weekly expenses, gas and groceries and stuff are covered, and then saving. Right now I'm not super debt focused, but eventually once I get my savings to a place where I'm comfortable, then I will start attacking my debt a little bit more. But from this paycheck, first home is also getting 50, manifest is getting 15, and then our 3k, I, or 5k, sorry, I was looking at the spread, and I was like, I have these two 200s down here, and I really want to get rid of them, <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna put 200 from our side income. So essentially it would be like a hundred dollars from each paycheck, if that makes sense. And by each paycheck, I mean Etsy and YouTube. Um, and then I had an extra $2 left over. So I'm just going to make sure that I pull those out and put them in the jar. So 200 plus 15, two and 50 is $267 that I am going to put towards savings. And then I am going to go over to our business spread. So <clears throat> my, um, my taxes envelope, I 
try my hardest to put 30% away from each paycheck towards taxes. So if you didn't know, YouTube and Etsy, they don't pull taxes from what they give you. It is all gross income. So I know that I am not going to fall within a 30% tax bracket, but I'd rather save more and have more of like a refund return at the end of the year than you know, not have enough and have to pull from my savings. So, um, $1,124 times 30, what, this one doesn't have that, 0. 0.3 times 1124 is $337. When something like that happens, I don't really like those odd numbers. So I just rounded down to 335 because I know I'm already putting away too much. So taxes is going to get 300 and $35. And then for shipping, I am going to put away um, 60 because I know that I have um, $40 currently and I kind of just want to get that up to $100. Um, I'm going to put 50 away for equipment. I'm saving up for a new microphone. Um, supplies, I'm going to put $150 because I want to make sure that I am set in there for the next time I need to place big order. And then I'm going to put a whole $20 towards Lily Budgets and that is saving up for my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. I know that we're nowhere near that, but I want to make sure that I have plenty of time to save as much as I can for that because that is, I want to make sure that's a good one. So 335, 60, 50, 150, and 20 is 615 dollars that we are going to put towards my business expenses for this paycheck, which is a lot. It's a lot, but it is necessary. So 615 plus 50, 57, 5, 5, 10, 15, and 50 is $807, which is not fun, but it's necessary. So, you know, stuffing an envelope is stuffing an envelope. So whatever. So I'm going to add 267 and 50, and that is 1,124, which is perfect. So once again, another zero based budget, we're going to come back and stuff this on Thursday. And then on Saturday, we're going to do our bill exchange, which I am so excited for. Um, and then March is actually going to be a magic month. So there'll be five paychecks and it is a quarterly, like we're going to add up all of the money in my binders and see where I'm at. Um, we did buy a dog and I spent everything that was in the furniture envelope and pretty much depleted their, um, the dog's envelope, which had quite a bit in there. So I'm not entirely sure what it's going to look like, but that's beside the point. So, um, the last step, which I'm going to do off camera because it's just tedious, but is the denomination breakdown. Essentially, I would just list out all of the categories that I am pulling cash out for, um, the amounts that I'm pulling out, and then break down the denominations to know exactly what I am going to need to ask the bank teller for when I go to the bank so that the cash stuffings can be smooth and no hiccups and stuff like that. But I'm going to do that off camera and I'm going to wait until um, Tuesday when I actually go to the bank to do that because I actually find it very, it is tedious, but I find it very relaxing at the same time. I, I like doing stuff like this, so I like to save that until the end. I know that probably sounds kind of weird, but I don't know. I'm weird. So with that being said, that is going to wrap up today's video. I almost said cash stuffing again. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a yellow heart in the comments to show your support for the channel. And of course, subscribe. We are, as I'm filming this, so close to 5.5 thousand subscribers, which is just, oh, I love that. 
So um, if you haven't yet, I would really, really appreciate it if you would take a moment and just hit that big red button down there, send some support my way. And with that being said, thank you guys for sticking around with me. And I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day, week, month, year, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.